Enchanted versus mine. Oh my god. Oh, this is so not fair. That is literally painful. I've done it. <laughs> I've it. I've done it. It's my favourite Taylor Swift song of all time. Bit of a different video for the channel today. We're doing not any Taylor Swift song bracket, the ultimate Taylor Swift song bracket, including every single song. <laughs> <laughs> including all of midnights and 3 a.m.s. Basically, if you haven't seen the song bracket before, you have like a tournament listing and you have to choose one or the other, one or the other until you get all the way to the end and you've got the top song. And so we're gonna be doing that with every single Taylor Swift song ever written. Um, <laughs> this song bracket was actually made by my Swifty bestie and she was been like begging me to do it. And I was like, I'll do it on a video, I'll do it on a video. And it's a different kind of video for me but i thought it would be super fun to do it on camera and for you guys to like join in and if you want to do the song bracket as well i'll leave the link in the description for you i think my friend is very keen for people to <laughs> to do her song bracket so i guess we're just gonna do this let me know if you like content like this by leaving a like or by leaving a comment make sure to like make sure to subscribe and if you want to support me even further you can do it over on patreon the link's in the description you can get your videos early you can even request song reactions from me so that's all over on patreon this is gonna be really hard the Taylor Swift ultimate song bracket. I'm gonna have to go a little bit like quick with some of these because you know, it's there's, there's a lot of songs to get through. Okay, so that's when versus crazier. Um, that's when. That's when. Na, 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 na. Mary's song versus half my heart. Mary's song, obviously. Let's go. See, this is easy. <laughs> uh, our song. Our song is a slam screen door. Ronan versus teardrops of my guitar. Okay, so <laughs> Ronan is a better written song, but Jesus Christ, it's uh, a lot. I'm gonna go Ronan, despite the fact that I can't actually listen to it. Why would you wanna break a perfectly good heart? I like that one. First album is doing well. Oh my God. This is like a lightning round, the first round. The later rounds are gonna be the hardest shit. Okay, so I know some of you are gonna be screaming like, ah, why could you, how could you choose that? I think Tim McGraw, yeah. Tim McGraw. Oh my god, Picture to Burn versus Should Have Said No. These are like the two best from the first album. You should have said no, you should have gone home, you should have been na 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 na. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say should have said no. Is that controversial? I don't know. I don't know. First section of the, of this ridiculous, oh my god, there's so many. This is just one side. Okay, I'm just gonna keep smashing through these. Um, better than Revenge. <laughs> As much as I'm like, I'm a bit like, oh, the lyrics. It's like such a vibe. It's really good. <laughs> We've been screaming and crying and missing in the rain. I'm saying am and I'm cursing your name. Speak now or forever and always. Uh, forever and always, guys. Forever and always is such a big one for me. Breathe or back to December. I love breathe, but back to December is just a classic Tay. Okay, last kiss or love story. Story. Hey, Steven or White Horse. <gasps> I've just seen what's coming up and I can't cope. This is not okay. Anyway, let's make this decision. I think White Horse. And then, this is so unfair. This is so unfair. Claire, like, this is so fucking unfair. Like, how would you do this to me? This is so mean. This is the first one where I'm actually like, oh, fuck. Enchanted versus You Belong With Me. Um. <laughs> this is so not fair. I love, oh my God. I, oh, I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna go Enchanted. So this changes on any given day. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you'd asked me maybe like a year and a half ago when Phyllis Taylor's version came out, You Belong With Me was like my favorite thing in the world and I was listening to it every day. But like, it's gotta be Enchanted. Oh my God, that hurts. That really hurts. <laughs> I'm gonna go tell me why. I know that's probably a controversial one, but I'm not that crazy about Haunted. I know that everybody else is, but I'm not really. Long Live or Dear John, I think Long Live. Change or Fearless, Fearless. In my best dress, Fearless. Mine or Mean, Mine, Easy. Sorry Mean, you're great, but Mine is one of my favorite songs. If you've been following this channel, then you know that Mine is one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs ever. It's how you get the girl, girl. Nope. I wanted to put me back together. Actually, to be fair, that is actually such a banger. But Begin Again is such a vibe. One of the best album closing songs ever. Bad, bad, blank space, blank space. Every fucking day. I'd say Bad Blood is the worst Taylor Swift song. <laughs> the video, amazing. The actual song, I don't like it. Now, Claire, this is 
fucking not okay. Like, I don't know how you would do this to me. I feel like she's, she knows what's, what my favourite Taylor Swift songs are. So I think that she's set this up just to fuck with me. <laughs> Putting Out of the Woods and Holy Ground on the same fucking one is so not fair. And it's not going to be a good representation of, like, what my actual favourites are. This is not fine. This is not okay. Out of the Woods, Holy Ground. Um, if you'd asked me when I first discovered Red... Holy Ground was one of my favourite songs ever. It was one of those, like, in lockdown... Because you guys all saw my um, red reaction in 2020. Intermittent lockdowns. And Holy Ground, it was one of those, like, dance around on my own kind of ones. And I couldn't wait to see Claire and to dance to Holy Ground with her. And when it came on at Swift again the first time, I lost my mind. But then Out of the Woods, you hear me talk about Taylor, and I will tell you that Out of the Woods is one of her best songs ever. Oh my God, I'm gonna go out of the words. If not for anything but the bridge. As if Holy Ground is already gone, that's not fine. Style is amazing, I adore style, but I almost do. It's one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs ever written. I've never heard anybody sing that story before. You're thinking about calling them up and you don't do it, but you almost do it. And it's like, there's just something so perfect about that lyric. Clean versus treacherous, treacherous. Again, clean, amazing, but treacherous is one of my favourite Taylor Swift songs. If you haven't guessed already, Red is potentially my favourite album. I Ain't You Trouble versus All Too Well. Might well, it's got to be All Too Well. Wildest Dreams versus 22. Wildest Dreams. I Know Places versus... What's Wayne GBT? <laughs> oh, we are never getting back together, obviously. We are never, ever, ever getting back together, like, ever. Um, yeah, it's got to be Wayne GBT. Wayne GBT, my favourite Taylor Swift single. Stay! The lucky one versus State of Grace. <gasps> State of Grace is just one of the best openers of an album ever, really, isn't it? <laughs> Red versus Stay, 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 the easiest question I've ever done. Welcome to New York, Shake It Off. Shake It Off. You got a girl at home and everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. I like this love, but I love the moment I knew. And like when I first reacted to it, it was a sob fest. <laughs> Taylor Swift, ultimate songs breath. We're on to the other side, okay? So we're halfway through. Part of me wants to go with you needs to come down because of, the, because of the gayness, but, you know, king of my heart versus lover. Well, this is fucking mean, isn't it? I'm going to have to go lover. Pre-reaction days, she did it on Strictly Come Dancing and, like, at just her at the piano, and it was so beautiful. Paper rings versus dance with her hands. Dancing with our hands tied. There's going to be stiff competition against Dancing With Our Hands Tied because I love that song. I really like it, Don't Blame Me, and I know it's like a big fan favourite, but like, delicate. 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 Call it what you want, yeah. False God versus Look What You Made Me Do. False God. <laughs> Obviously. Dress is great, Don't Kill Me Claire, but New Romantics. I bet that was a difficult one for you, Claire, actually. Daylight's beautiful, but Cornelia Street is the one. Endgame versus Getaway Car. <laughs> I don't like Endgame. Just saying. Like, and it's Swift again, and everyone, like, goes off for own game, and it's like, I'm gonna go get a drink. <laughs> I'm, like, savage with some of these songs. <laughs> Death by a Thousand Cuts versus The Archer. Death by a Thousand Cuts is one of my favourite Taylor Swift songs. I think it might have the best lyrics in Taylor Swift's career. There's just so many levels to that paper metaphor. It's perfect. It's so good. It's like, oh, there's, this is a three-way one. So when Taylor announced, like, Midnight's and there was 13 songs, Claire re redid her thing with gaps for the Midnight songs and it was perfect. And then she announced the other seven. It was like, for fuck's sake, it's <laughs> like ruined the symmetry. Cool Summer versus Death by Thousand Cuts could be awful. I <laughs> just say that. I love illicit affairs, but Willow. Ivy versus Tis the Damn Season. Oh my lord. How's one to know? I, but I love Tis the Damn Season. I'm going to go Ivy. I'm splitting hairs, to be honest. Tis the Damn Season does have one of my favourite lyrics, which is the To Leave the Warmest Bed I've Ever Known, but Ivy has a full song. I think I enjoy the whole entire thing. Seven versus Tolerate It. I love the kind of childhood story of Seven. It's beautiful. Gotta be the last great American dance dynasty. As much as Evermore is incredible. Exile versus My Taste Ricochet. Exile, I think, is the better written song. I just love the idea that someone's done a duet from two sides of a, of a divorce, you know? Betty versus Peace. <laughs> Claire, I know you've done this for purpose. Peace, I think, just resonates with me more. Even though Betty is one of my favourite songs. That is so hard. But Peace just, like, emotionally just resonates with me. Oh, that is so hard. Closure versus August. Oh! August. Right where you left me versus happiness. Right where you left me. Cardigan. Had a little bit of a technical technical issues. Um, so just to recap the ones that we missed. It was Gold Rush versus Dorothea. Gold Rush all day, every day. Champagne Problems versus Kenley Island. Champagne Problems. And Marjorie versus The Lakes. And as much as 
the lakes is beautiful. Marjorie is just like that emotional sucker punch. And I just love that she wrote a song about her nan and included like clips of her nan singing in it and everything. It's like amazing. Labyrinth versus High Infidelity. Labyrinth. Labyrinth is really growing on me, actually. Karma is my boyfriend. Karma is a god. Run, I find a bit of a meh. It's anti-hero is great. Snow on the beach versus you're on your own, kid. Sorry, Lana fans. Snow on the beach. It's, it's, it's good. But you're on your own, kid is just like next level. He was sunshine, I was midnight rain. Nothing used great, but I don't know, like, I'm not that crazy about the vibe of midnight, of uh, nothing new, midnight rain, obsessed. All to end 10 minute version versus sweet nothing. Sorry, sweet nothing, but goodbye. Forever v winter, oh, Mastermind versus lavender haze, lavender haze. I just wanna stay in that lavender haze. Maroon, like, I think maroon for the lyrics. Woulda, coulda, shoulda versus joke and the queen, obviously woulda, coulda, shoulda. I'm gonna go Paris right now because I'm really vibing with it. This will probably change. Okay, first round done. That was hard, but I know it's gonna get so much harder. So let's go back to the top. Let's do round two. Okay, that's one versus Mary's song. Mary's song. Love a song with a story I do. Tim McGraw versus should have said no. Should have said no. I don't wanna live forever. I don't wanna live forever. Don't have heard of something in pain. <clears throat> I'm gonna go with, don't you? Better than revenge, best the way I love you, the way I love you. Cause I miss screaming and crying and first shit of the rain. Oh, I love Sparks Fly, but Forever and Always is like one of my favorites. Batch of December versus Love Story. I'm not a mainstream girly. I'm the guy who goes to a concert hoping that they're gonna play the random song in the middle of the album that they don't ever play. <laughs> I'm an alternative, even though I'm a massive pop girly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Enchanted versus ours. Enchanted. Enchanted's gonna go far. I'm telling you that. If it beat out bloody You Belong With Me, <laughs> I still got good over that. Uh, mine. <laughs> I don't even know why I thought for a second there. Goodbye, other songs. <laughs> Plan for uh, other words. I know that, that I was very quick to do that. And I know that Blank Space is an absolute fave of everybody. But again, like, even of the singles, I like the alternative singles. <laughs> At the woods, it's just the bridge just sends me off every single time. It's just so good. I almost, oh my God. No, 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 no. This is so unfair. Okay, I almost do, just for the record, I almost do and Treacherous are both in my top 10 Taylor Swift songs of all time. The thing is with the bracket is that it forces you to actually make these difficult decisions. Whereas like, if I was just doing it free form, I would not be able to choose between I was doing tre Treacherous. I'm gonna go with Treacherous. I think I almost do used to be my favorite, but I think Treacherous has outsped it since. Is it gonna end up being all too well versus all too well 10 minute version at the final? <laughs> That'd be so funny. Wayne GBT. I'm gonna call it that from now on. Um, State of Grace versus Red. <laughs> no. Oh my God, all the Red ones are gonna be so hard. State of Grace versus Red. State of Grace versus Red. First song versus the second song. I'm gonna go with Red. It's the title track of the album, and it just is so perfectly done. Shake it off, girl at home, the moment I knew, the moment I knew. A lot of 1989 is going to get shafted for, <laughs> for like, red stuff. I think he knows versus Dance With The Hands Tied. Dance With The Hands Tied. Delicate versus Call It What You Want. Delicate. False God versus, oh my God, versus New Romantics. False God. I don't know why I did that so easily, because I love New Romantics, but False God. It's the one. Um, Gorgeous versus Cornelia Street. I'm gonna go Cornelia Street. Gorgeous is beautiful, but Cornelia Street is what better in. Death by a Thousand Cuts versus The Man. Oh, versus Cruel Summer. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> These are pretty much neck and neck for on Lover for me because, like, when I first discovered Lover, basically I was listening to both these songs every single day. And it's new. The shape of your body. It's a cruel summer with you. Summer. I think objectively, I'd say Death by a Thousand Cuts is a better lyric, but Cruel Summer just, it just emotionally, it's just everything to me. I love it. Last Grimmie Dynasty is one of my favourites. Obviously, Exile is a brilliant song, but Peace just gets me. Mirable vibes. August. I love the one, but Cardigan 
it just symbolizes me discovering Taylor Swift, really. Gold Rush, Champagne Problems, Marjorie. This is a really fucking hard one, but I'm gonna go Gold Rush. It's just something about the lyric, the way it tumbles over itself, and the borrowed flat seventh chord, you know, and the production. It's basically everything I like in a song, also in a Taylor Swift song. Kateri versus Karma, this one isn't so hard. <laughs> Karma. Question versus Antihero, Antihero. You're on your own kid. As much as the lyrics in the Great War are great, you're on your own kid has lyric and beat and everything. Oh no! My new favourite Midnight Rain! It's gotta be all too well time in version. Uh, Forever Winter. That's the very first night. Forever Winter is my fave. Ever Winter if you go. Woulda coulda shoulda. I love Woulda coulda shoulda. Here we go. Mary versus Mr. Perfectly Fine. Mary. <laughs> Mary song. I'm gonna go Ronan. It's just a better written song. The way I loved you versus forever and always. So this is where it all starts to happen because these are like two of my favorite songs. I'm gonna go forever and always. I know I like, I'm actually finding some of these a lot easier than I thought I would. As I said, Enchanted's got to be there. Mine versus fearless. Uh, I think it's mine. Yeah, it's mine. Begin again versus out of the woods, out of the woods. I love begin again, but out of the woods. This is where it's really getting down to the nail. Okay, treacherous versus all too well. Given that we have the all too well 10 minute version, and Treacherous is one of my favourite songs literally ever written ever. It's gonna be Treacherous. Oh god, this is gonna be so hard. We are never ever getting back together, like ever. Wildest, I think Wildest Dreams, yeah. Wildest Dreams, uh. Red versus The Moment I Knew. The Moment I Knew is beautiful, but I think I'm gonna go red. Losing him was blue like I'm never known. Dancing with a hands tied versus Lover. God, Lover is beautiful, but Dancing with a hands tied. It's just one of my absolute favourites. I love it. False God versus Cornelia Street. <laughs> uh, False God versus Cornelia Street. I think I'm going to go False God. It's just more unique. A bit. Even though I love, love, love Cornelia Street. Everything about it. Getaway Car versus Cruel Summer. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is so unfair. I think it's going to be Cruel Summer. Yeah, I've done it. I've done it. I'm going with it. I don't care. Whatever. Pfft, that is so hard. Okay, Willow versus Ivy. Ah, <laughs> Plants. Willow. I love the texture of Willow. Peace makes me cry, but the last great American dynasty is just perfect storytelling. Mirable versus August. August. Cardigan versus Gold Rush. Gold Rush. And I'm going there. Oh, God, I love Cardigan. Oh, God, I love Cardigan. And at one point, I think it probably would have been right up there in the in the final bit. But right now, as it stands, Gold Rush. I'm going to go Karma. It's just such a vibe. <laughs> karma is my boyfriend. Oh, God, where are we? Okay, Karma. Antihero versus You're On Your Own Kid. Oh. I think on first listen, I might have said You're On Your Own Kid, but now I'm not so sure because Antihero's really grown on me. Um, I think I'm going to go You're On Your Own Kid. Though I love Antihero. Okay. Oh, this is so not fair. Okay, again, just to be said, both Ultra 10 minute, 10 minute Version and Forever Winter would be in my top 10 Taylor Swift songs. I'm sorry, Forever Winter. You're like my under underrated absolute fave. Woulda, coulda, shoulda versus Lavender Haze. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Okay, we're really getting down to it now. Mary's Song versus Ronan. I'm going to go Mary's Song because I love the story. I'm Only Me When I'm With You versus Shoulda Said No. Should have said no. Forever and always versus back to December. Oh my god, this is hard. Um, this might change after Taylor's version comes out because I the Taylor's version like does really kind of make me re-listen to songs that I've underappreciated. Obviously, I've listened to back to December like all, like loads, but I think Forever and Always just really just hits different. Ah, uh, does it? Oh god, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go Forever and Always. Ah, uh, okay. Enchanted versus mine. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> Enchanted versus mine. Mine has been one of my favourites forever. But, oh my god, but for some reason I'm leaning towards Enchanted right now. Mine. I'm going mine. I'm going mine because that was one of the first songs that really made me realise that Taylor Swift was an incredible songwriter. <laughs> Out of the Woods versus Treacherous. Bridge versus Bridge, hey? <laughs> oh my god, Out of the Woods. Oh, Treacherous. Oh my god, this is so hard. Out of the Woods versus Treacherous. Um, I think it's got to be Treacherous. This is probably one of the closest because both of 
both treacherous treacherous um because both of those songs are in my top probably my top five taylor songs i'd say but treacherous i think it's just almost perfect song wildest dreams versus red i think i'm gonna go with red sorry 1989 you're getting completely shafted but you came up against red so okay dance with the hands tied versus delicate i love delicate but dance with the hands tied is something else it's really sweeping it's gonna be right near the end false god versus cruel summer I think it's going to be Cruel Summer. Ah! Okay, Willow versus The Last Great American Dynasty. Oh my God, this is hard. Last Great American Dynasty, I think. I love Willow. I think I love the production of Willow. But like, Last Great American Dynasty, like the story is just everything. August versus Gold Rush. Oh God, August is so good. I'm going to go Gold Rush. Because it has the production. Oh God. But f***ing August. Oh, Karma versus You're On Your Own Kid. At the moment, it's Karma. All to our 10-minute version versus Woulda, Coulda, Shoulda. Woulda, Coulda, Shoulda is obviously a new fave, but all to our 10-minute version. I'm sorry. Round five. Okay, Mary's Song versus Shoulda Said No. Shoulda Said No is obviously a vibe. A vibe. I'm gonna go Shoulda Said No. Yeah. Oh my god. This is very confusing. Okay. Uh, Forever and Always versus Mine. Mine. Mine, mine, mine. Mine. Uh, treacherous versus Red. It's Treacherous. It beat bloody all too well and out of the woods. <laughs> um, wait, where the bloody hell are we? It's just too big. Look at it, even at 50%, you can't see the whole thing. Okay, this is very confusing. Dance with a hands toe versus Squirrel Zella. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, I don't know. God, this is so fucking hard. But Cruel Summer's like beat out like some of my absolute favourites. But I'm thinking about Dance With Her Hands Tied too. I'm gonna go Cruel Summer. Oh, even though it is painful. That is literally painful. Last Great American Dynasty versus Gold Rush. I think it's gonna be Last Great American Dynasty. Karma versus All Too Ultimate Version. Sorry, Karma. You're too new. I feel like most of Midnight's got beaten out by all too well, really. Well, let's just zoom out and double check that I've actually done everything. <laughs> I see how it goes, yeah. Okay, so we've got mine versus should have said no. I think mine. Oh, we've got another one here. Last Great American Dynasty versus All Too Well 10 Minute Version. It's just like, the thing with the all too, with 10 Minute Version of All Too Well is that it, it just is just, I don't know, everything about it. <laughs> okay, mine versus Treacherous. Um. <laughs> so let's look at these two songs quick. Okay, so mine, we've got the beginning, middle and end storyline. We've got the twist, the TTT, the typical Taylor twist versus Treacherous, which is the slow build that the guitar that stays on the one note gets you to that place doesn't it it just really really builds up so slowly and it's just so perfect i'm gonna go treacherous <sighs> i think these actually these are kind of i probably would say are my four favorite taylor swift songs plus forever winter dancing with her hands tied and out of the woods and death by a thousand cuts cruel summer versus all too well time in version. okay so these are very different songs as well okay so cruel summer is probably the best pop song she's ever written it's to the point it's catchy the hook is amazing it's got great lyrics it's got an amazing middle eight it just all comes together as a perfect pop song for me all too well 10 minute version is the opposite of that it's rambling it's complicated it's impassioned but it's loose loads of people have written perfect pop songs and cruel summer is definitely up there with some of the best pop songs ever written but no one's ever written anything like all too well 10 minute version have they and that is kind of what i go to taylor swift for the gut punch of emotional intensity and the dance around the kitchen the refrigerator light you kept me like a secret but i kept you like an oath it's just it is it is that heartbreak and so i think all too well 10 minute version that is hard though Okay, final round. Let's zoom in so you can see it. All too well, 10 minute version versus Treacherous. Okay. So there's going to be a bit of heart and head here. Um, this is really hard. Um. <laughs> I can't, this is too much. Okay, all too well, 10 minute version. You could consider it the magnum opus of Taylor's career. It really describes the absolute brilliance in how she can tell a story that's so specific and yet so universal. And it's absolutely heartbreaking, even upon multiple listens. And then you've also got like the video as well. It's all working in its favour. There's just so much to it. It's got some of the best lyrics she's ever written versus <laughs> Treacherous, which is 
I think, one of the most perfectly written songs ever. How simple it is, but so effective. I can listen to that song every single time, and every single time when the two headlights shine bit comes through, it hits me every single time without fail. With that emotional, just... Because you know, you know it leads to all too well. Put your lips close to mine just as long as they don't touch. She knows that it's treacherous and you know where it's going to go. So it's this idea of like foreshadowing is just so magical. She's tiptoeing along the edge the whole time, the whole song, the whole song is building up, tiptoeing along that, that guitar that keeps going and keeps going and keeps going and keeps building, keeps building, keeps building. And then the moment you know that she falls for it is that middle eight. Brilliant songs are more than a sum of their parts and treacherous the idea of this love being treacherous and you knowing that you're going to fall and you know that there's danger, it's the way in which all the different parts add up to create this feeling. And it's just so, so perfect and so pinpoint. Then the all too well 10 minute version is so special and it is a completely unique piece of work. And so my kind of technical songwriting head is saying Treacherous is the better song. It is more succinct, it is better written than All Too Well. My heart is like very much torn. <laughs> I'm doing it. I've done it, <laughs> I've written it, I've done it. <laughs> of course this album was gonna feature loads. Um, Treacherous is my favorite Taylor Swift song of all time. I think Claire could have probably predicted that. <laughs> Let's listen to it. Let's fucking listen to Treacherous. A special reaction to the winning song. Ah, let's love it together. Perfection. Oh, I'm glad that I'm doing like a little like reaction again. Put your lips close to mine. They don't touch. Till the gravity's too much. That lyric is just so perfect. Yeah, but your quick sound. Ah! It just builds, doesn't it? It's like, and this bit, you kind of think that it's going there and then it just kind of keeps building, it keeps building. I, I, I like it, sure. Yeah, amazing. Getting swept away. And it's just like here that you've got some low, it's starting to build up, but it just, it goes up and up and up and up slowly and it just captures you the whole time. Train to get along. It's like knowing that it's inevitable, you know? Oh. Treacherous. And it's getting there, it's building. <laughs> it's just everything to me in the song. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad I picked this. <laughs> she just admits that like, just, it's gotta happen. It's inevitable. And that imagery is just so powerful. <laughs> I follow you, follow you home. This slow bit, I, 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 I like it. Yeah, there you go. <sighs> that song, that song. The fact that I can listen to it now, even though I listen to it a hundred million times, and it still makes me cry. That is like per perfect songwriting. You know, you can be t I can be taken on that journey of that song every single time I listen to it. And it has the perfect kind of mix of like simple enough kind of catchiness that's listenable and not too meandering. Edited very well, but still has the heart. It still has the heartbreak. And I think as much as All Too Well has that heartbreak, I think Treacherous just pierces you so specifically and directly right there every time. And that's down to how well it's created, how well it's written, how well it's arranged and how well it's produced. Yes. So there you go. There you have it. I've done the Taylor Swift ultimate song bracket. I've gone through every single Taylor Swift song. They fought off against one another and Treacherous came out on top. Taylor's version. <laughs> Obviously. I would be absolutely fascinated to see what 
song comes out on top for you make sure to play the taylor swift ultimate song bracket the link is in the description thank you so much to my swifty bestie claire for putting all her time into doing this i mean she loves it she she's been working on this song bracket for years and years and years and she's been begging me to do it on the channel <laughs> but i had a lot of fun doing it and I feel very content with the fact that Treacherous is my favourite Taylor Swift song. I'm happy saying that. But yes, please play along and please come back and comment what your biggest difficult decisions were and also make sure to comment what your top song is because I'm sure it's very different. You made some very different choices to me, I'd imagine. Cool. Thank you so much, guys. Um, if you want to support me even further, you can do on Patreon. Because if this is a new video for you and you haven't checked out my Taylor Swift reactions, links are around. I'm glad, I hope you enjoyed this video, it's a different kind of vibe. But yeah, I very much enjoyed making it. So uh, yeah, I'd like to do more of this. Maybe a Lana bracket. Oof. Yes, now I'm going to do some non-Taylor content on the channel because I've, Taylor has overrun my channel in the last month, but it's fine. <laughs> um, cool. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.